Karaji nationality. I walked off the plane expecting Korea to be in the palms of my hands. This would be my epiphany. The moment when the flag unravels between my ribs, caging in the spirit. See, hunger was freedom, liberation at its fullest. Her peninsula will be the engravings of the wrinkles in my palms. She will fit perfectly into my palms. So I thought. I walked into Tor, the mouth of the mother, each step reluctant and skeptical. Sign Raza neon spectacles of karaoke and bars. Red light of Jesus crosses dims into the backgrounds of lights, infesting her virginity with pity imitations of Western capitalism. I read the signs in American, finding relief in every box of lettering I would stutter to read. I thought her mouth would lead me to the culture of a history, culture hand in hand with I, my identity, but either my hands were too sweaty or she slipped out when I wasn't looking because I just saw another reflection of one of our cities. The nation that blasphemized me for and marked every street corner, territory claim, pissing coins and dollar bills on old ladies cooking tteokbokki and hot dog. Flashback to Los Angeles, to San Francisco, to Oakland. I wonder if she knows capitalism destroyed America. They strive to be as American, but all I see is their inevitable fall. The colonizer got a psyche rep tied around her tube, still birds to sky risers and billboards. The only refuge found in my aunt's home. They just got hot water running through the system. She sits on the floor cross-legged, gluing hair bands on pins for extra cash. My cousin takes extra shifts and never sleeps. This is the third world dream. I know I was romanticizing Korea, expecting her to be the solution to my awkward assimilation. Korea-centric, grasped desperately so I wouldn't disappear between the stars, but condolences for naive identity because it was bitterness that got to me when I walked off the plane expecting her to be in my soul. Instead, Seoul's pupils were dilated, awaiting her next ghetto, impregnant with secondhand crack. I was too busy chasing her flag to see that she was found the barrels of shack where my aunt sits on the floor gluing hair bands on pens for extra cash. We are losing our ways to capitalism. And for those like my aunt who can't afford its convenience will be left over. Cloud smokes, I've seen the smog cast over Los Angeles and it all looks too familiar. We'll learn the ways of America its name. America has exploited me, yes, but she, she's my homie. Now do I tell her that the very capitalism that built her will only neglect her soul like it did ours.